Hi everyone, this is Lucy from Sweet Poppy Stencils. Um, now and again I do a sample and I really enjoy making it um, and I'm pleased with it. And This is a sample I did a little while ago of the beautiful rose bloom that was in, I think it was in our March release. Um, it's a big bold stencil. Um, and as you can see, it makes a bit of a statement card. So I'm going to be using Distress Inks. Um, so let's give it a go and see how we get on with it. So I'm going to be using a few colours, a few vibrant colours. Um, we've got Dried Marigold, Peacock Feathers, Worn Lipstick, uh, Fossilised Amber and Crackling Campfire. Um, I may put a finish on. Um, at the end I've done one background and I'm really really pleased with it um, so as you can see I've got a few um, backgrounds already prepped dry and what I've done is once they're dry I put them between a bit of um, copy paper and run them through my embossing machine because the cardstock does warp and if you're trying to put a stencil flat on it what will happen is um, you may push especially when it's a fragile stencil like this you may push the stencil up so i tend to always run mine through an embossing machine well, i don't know whether let me see if i can might not pick there you go so what's happened is i've given this a little bit of a finish and what it is is it's a mixture that i made at the weekend uh, for one of the workshops that i, I uh, went to um, it's a mixture of mica and a mica gum and it's in a little bottle uh, it's about a four centimeter bottle and i tend to fill it about that much put in a quarter teaspoon of um, mica powder and a quarter teaspoon i use my mica gum which is a liquid form um, and it gives me it's given me a, a mister and it's just given it just gives a different finish to it so I thought I'd give it a go as it's already made. Um, so let's give this a little whiz and see what we can do. Right. So let's take some inks. So I've got fossilised amber, uh, a bit of crackling campfire. That's really vibrant, the crackling campfire. Uh, dried marigold. And one of my favourites, worn lipstick. I've got my good old cardstock. Now, I am working on a, uh, it's almost like a Teflon mat. Uh, you need either a heat sheet or a Teflon mat, glass mat. What will happen is it won't be so, sorry, I'm just trying to get sequins out of the way. So, so a couple of spritz of water. Let's check that you can see. Yeah, and let's give it a go. As I said, it's it's a little bit of cardstock at the end of the day. So all we're going to do is smoosh it. Okay, let's give it a blast with a heat gun. Sorry for the noise in the background. So we're just trying to catch some colour. I'm trying to learn to love Distress Inks again. Um, I sort of have never been very confident with them. I, oxide, love it because I can blend with those no problem. But when I use um, Distress Inks, obviously, you know, there's always room for error there but at the end of the day it's a bit of cardstock so we're just building up and we're drying in between we're trying to get those um layers and those translucent layers a bit so i've got a bit of kitchen mold here and take off I don't want to contaminate my pad, so I'm pretty precious about my pads. So I want a bit more yellow in there. As you can see, it beads. It's brilliant. So we're going in. 
and again dry in and we're just building up our layers of colour bit by bit by bit. I'm going with a bigger piece of card than what I actually need and I'll cut it down I'll choose a section that I want to keep. So in with pick up feathers this is one of my favourites pick up feathers I love it and warm lipstick again so I still want some pinks and some blues on. Oh I know why it's beating like that. I picked up the wrong spray. That's why it wasn't working as I was expecting. Right, okay, here we go. People be screaming, waste of ink, but it's an ink pad. Right spray. There we go, that's better. Lovely. Now it's starting to build up, as you can see, our colours. Oops. Oh, that's looking fab. So again, we're going to dry in between. Using that was actually interesting to see what happened on the inks. It didn't bead as I was expecting it, almost um, like mercury. Very strange. So I'm just going to go and go. Set the net down a little bit. Let's see what we can pick up here before I put some more on. So just building up bit by bit until you're happy with the layers that you've got. You don't need any more crackling campfire, that's quite a vivid colour. So let's go. That's nice. Sorry if it's gone out of shot. Let's check. Yeah, we're still in shot. So you would build up and build up. You can see what I mean about the buckling of the card. There we go. So I'll take away. So if you try to put a stencil on that, no matter, even with a magnetic sheet, what's going to happen is it's going to push um, the fragile parts of the stencil. So if you haven't got an embossing machine um, or a die cut machine, then put it between uh, grease proof paper or copy paper and run it with an ironing board. Get it flat or even put it under a book, run it flat. So all I have done is trimmed it down and I believe it is I haven't got my uh, cutting machine I think it was 14 centimeters by 14 centimeters um, but you can trim it to whatever you want so I quite like that so let's have a little look pop that to one side no in fact we'll use that we'll show you what the shimmer's like so this is a mixture as I said of water it's about a four centimetre, um, yeah, four centimetre bottle with um, about half full of water, quarter teaspoon of mica, and it's a quarter teaspoon of mica gum. And I don't think I've got my mica gum handy to show. Um, but I've got, I've got lots already made, as you can see. So you can see the mica there, and it just doesn't clog. It's brilliant. Um, you can, if you've got the powder form, you can use the powder form as well. Uh, so let me just protect my table. So all you would do is, however much or however little you want, and then give it a heat. And the mica will stay on because the mica gum is a fixative. It will actually stay on 
the surface. Paul, can you pass me a mic again? So I'll get Paul to pass me a mic again to show you what it looks like. So it just gives it a bit of bling. So you're making your own spritzers, which is brilliant. So this is mica gum. So it's almost like a cloudy liquid. Sometimes it comes a complete clear and it's not going to affect it. But as you can see, it's, it comes in a little bottle and it's labelled mica gum. Um, where I prefer the liquid form of it. Go. Brilliant. So pop that out of the way. So as you can see, you will pick up. You will get your bling. So you pop that to one side, let it bone bone dry. So let me clean this up. Let me get a one. Excuse me. I'm working on white card so if I knock the table I just want it completely clean so you're happy with that in my hands lovely nice and dry so I am going to go as I've already got one prepped let's have a little look I'm gonna go with this one I'm gonna go with the brights I need a magnetic sheet and I should have loads. I'm terrible for my magnetic sheets. So excuse the state of it. Lovely. And my beautiful bloom stencil. So this is SP1 316. So I think we will go Let's get him on there nice and comfy. Ooh, one second, one second. Let me check I've got me, me ups and me downs right. What we don't want is, as you can see, I've already prepped all my, my backgrounds and everything ready. But I'm terrible for um, measurements and things. So I just want to make sure I've got it the right way and not an upsy downy card. Right, okay, so that's my top. Okay. So I think let's go. Let's have a look. I trimmed it too much, possibly. Gonna go sideways, I think. That looks nice because I want room for a stamp as well. So that looks quite nice. I quite like that, and we'll have the stamp there. So so I don't get black everywhere because I'm terrible for getting fingerprints all over the place. Um, I should have should have my stencil tape. So we're marking off. We're marking off. This is why this tape is so important because you don't want to have created something so beautiful and then whip off your tape and you've damaged what you've spent ages creating or not ages, but you know what I mean. There's nothing worse. So either archive a link or your VersaFine. We're not going to be putting any any mediums on top, so it's your choice, whatever you want to use. So, I'm using a little blending brush, or you could use a smoothie. It's whatever you feel you want to work with. So hopefully, I'm not shaking the table. I'm gonna go in with, this is a juicier pad. Shouldn't be, because that's a new one. But, there we go. So I'm still pushing my stencil down because 
I want complete contact and as I said my cardstock's been a lot of moisture on it a lot of moisture you could use a smoothie if you're using a smoothie then I do recommend that let me grab my smoothie so with your smoothies if you're using them then still keep it down but you're pouncing what you don't do is you don't rub so you're just pouncing over so you, it's quite a big area so you can get away with smoothies the blending brushes are fab but once you've got black on your blending brush you've got black on your blending brush that's it so I'll only ever keep one brush for my uh, my black inks. So we're building up, getting a nice big coverage. But I always get my hands filthy with these. This is why I love my brushes. So going. So let's finish them off. As you can see, with the brushes you get right up to all the areas so you're going to get a real crisp outline every single time and i love that i'm keeping my brush flat holding with the top of the head making sure that i haven't got tape over my stencil so I've got a real nice solid black outline I do love this stencil it's such a nice stencil a real statement piece as I've said before the girls asked for statement flowers so this is where the big flowers came lovely so that goes away lid on that for the moment Let's clean up the black ink because I am lethal with it. Smoothie away because finished with that. Lovely. And we're going to gently take off and take off. Lift up so you've got your flower. So it looked like quite a vivid background that goes straight into water to be washed. So it did look quite vivid, but as soon as you put a black outline on it, it sort of draws it away. It's not so in your face. Lovely. So I'm gonna give that a quick blast before we do a quick bit of stamping. If you find that you hadn't got as crisp a line or maybe a little bit of um, bleeding underneath. What you could do is get a microfine pen and you can just clean up the areas. So just follow the areas, uh, the outlines of it and just clean them up, just drawing around the, the outline of it. Um, that covers so many little mistakes. So we're going stamping. So we don't need ma magnetic sheet. Um, I am not brave enough to stamp without my stamp that. Were we in? Yep, we're in place. Put that to one side. I've still got a stamp on there. I'll put that away in a minute. And. little set of stamps this is our i want to say friends our friend stamp set i love this stamp art is the nature of god it certainly is so let's get it straight i'm going to stand up for this Make sure it's straight. Okay. Okay, a bit of 
first fine. soaking a little bit squiffy but okay. it's art isn't it so let's pop that in put those away after so let's give it a quick blast again a vibrant card it's really pretty isn't it so I say myself so right let's go with wet glue at least then that will allow me for moving it moving it like getting our fingers all black so over that's in dying put well to be quite honest this was a, a backing piece of card from Monday's demos on the craft store um, sometimes I don't get time to make all the demos or or finish all the demos rather so I'll use a lot of the backgrounds for the next time or the next time let me stand up so using my eye Looks reasonably okay. That looks nice and vibrant. So okay. So we're gonna go that way. Lovely. So, a couple of little, what I normally take to shows me is a couple of little embellishments. These are little dewdrops, which you know what it's like to pick them up over the years. So, I will use, where is my glossy accents? Them somewhere, you know what it's like. Let's see what these are. Okay. So, one. There we go. I tend to use these because they're not the lightest little gem Oops. lovely I could do with my tweezers but there we go lovely and there you go so that is 
the beautiful rose bloom but using the same inks it's just different layering and different background but I think it's beautiful hope you enjoyed that um, and don't forget to join us again for um, other videos thank you